Hey everyone, so as you just saw by the title of today's video, I am hosting JHBC Cycle 5. I cannot believe we're already on Cycle 5. I've been doing this for two years now, which is insane, and it's a new school year, so it's time to start another cycle. I'm so excited to be hosting another cycle. I've been very excited for this all summer. I'm, I've decided though that I would want to take a like, month break ish kind of a thing um and then get back into it in september and then yeah so basically if you've already entered jgpc before you know the basic rules and those are you know you know i'll get into them right now actually so only use one doll throughout the entire competition this rule is pretty simple i know a lot of people hate it but please one doll and if you can make sure you include her name in the email please i need to know and like no there is only one pass throughout the entire competition but if you like need another pass then unfortunately you will have to like drop out and then basically the contest itself is pretty much well known now for being like very long but this cycle is going to be, I'm going to make it from September, which it is almost September since today is August 28th. So there are only a few more days left of August until it's September. But I'm posting this in August so that I can have everyone's photos by September. And then I'll post the video by the due date, which is, due date is September 7th. So that gives you a lot of time to submit photos. It can be an old photo, a new photo, and yeah, basically that gives you tons of time. So yeah, but basically the contest should last from September to January at latest, and it should not go into February, March, or April. So the only reason I say January, I want to get it done by December. But I know that's probably not likely to happen because of all the winter holidays coming up now. October, it's Halloween, November, Thanksgiving, break. And then, of course, in um, December, there's Hanukkah and then Christmas and Kwanzaa, all these other holidays and everything, which, of course, I need to give extra time and lots of breaks during this competition. So it could last until like the first week of February. But of course, that is probably something I really don't want to happen. And so basically, yeah, that's how long the contest should range. If it goes any longer, then I'm sorry, but it's normally out of my control most times. So yeah. The theme for the first week, which is this week, is always freestyle. So you can send in an old photo, like I said, or a new one. And it can be any doll. It can be a Welly Wisher, 18 inches. Nobody baby, but only like Welly Wishers or 18 inch dolls. It can be American Girl, Art Generation, any one of those. And basically, um, the theme is freestyle for the first week. Every week of JGPC, the first week is always freestyle, so you, you can do whatever you like. And always, for every single photo, the main doll who you're taking a photo of must be the focus of the photo. There can be other dolls around her, surrounding her. Here's an example on the screen of one of the photos I took. And basically, you can tell that Cece is the main focus of the photo, even if there are other dolls surrounding her. You can still include other dolls, just Please make them the, fain, the main focus of the photo. For this cycle, I will be allowing at least 25 to 30 people into the competition. So that is a lot, I know. Which means that we will be having double or triple eliminations at least every one to two weeks. And basically, I will always, always, always let you guys know when we have those at the end of the video. After eliminations. So basically, that is like that this is a competitive competition it is kind of for beginners but also for intermediate photographers it's a great way to practice your photography and to learn more here if you don't believe me then here are two previous um photographers who are actually um they 
one of them are American Girl. She won Cycle 2 of JGPC. And the other, American Girl Boys, won third place in Cycle 4. So if you don't believe me, then here are their recordings of what they have to say about JGPC. Hi, I'm Cora from Our American Girl, and today I will be answering some questions about JGPC for Cycle 5. First, do you think 25 to 30 models would be too many for Cycle 5? I feel like 25 would be like, if this is a big photo contest, it makes sense, but 30, I don't know, that's kind of a lot, I feel like, because people drop out throughout the contest, so it might help if you wanted to do more eliminations, but I think it would really just depend on how you would feel. About ranking and critiquing so many people's photos, even though people will tend to drop out throughout the contest, so it might lower your numbers a little bit. So I feel like 25 to 30 people would be reasonable as long as you wanted to have that many people in a photo contest. Next, do you think there should be more simple or hard themes in this next cycle? I think both hard and simple themes are really fun. Simple is kind of nice because you can come up with an idea and I feel like it's kind of just easier a lot of the time so you can kind of like explore more with that. But then harder kind of makes you think more outside the box sometimes. So I think it would be nice if like the start of the contest could be more simple and as it goes on it gets harder. I feel like a lot of people do this and even you do but I feel like that would be a good way to kind of even it out because both are really fun. Does it really broaden your photography skills? I've been cycles one, two, and four. I started out in one. I just barely got into photography and this is what like got me into photography. So I would say, yes, I learned so much in that first cycle and it really helped me improve my photography. I love to watch back on those videos and just watch myself grow from that because it was really like a starting point for my photography. And just as I went on to cycles two and four, I think it definitely broadens your photography. As long as you don't drop out, I've never dropped out of JGPC and I've actually made it pretty far in all of the times I've entered. Do you think JGPC is better for beginner or intermediate photographers? I kind of have to say intermediate because I feel like intermediate will make it further in the contest and probably have a better chance of winning, but I didn't make it very far as a beginner in the first cycle. I made it to the semi-finale, although it does depend on the other contestants in the contest, but I think sticking with JGPC, it really helps you just kind of like learn more about photography and how to do it better, and it's just another way of practice, honestly, so I feel like it can help you become higher up on your photography. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate JGBC? I've had a really good experience in all of the cycles I've entered, so I probably have to say 9. I know that's pretty high, but I feel like there's always room to improve, so it's not quite a 10. I don't really see why I would like bring it down. I really understand why she critiques like all the things that she does. There are some times I disagree with the rankings, but that's you're going to have that in any photo contest you enter. So yeah, I'd probably have to say 9 just because there's always going to be room for improvement. And yeah. And that was the last question, so thank you for letting me help out with this JoJo B10. Hey everyone, it's Sophia from American Girl Bliss. And I'm a finalist from JAGPC Cycle 4. The first question is, do you think that 25 to 30 models would be too many for Cycle 5? I don't think so, because the more contestants there are, the more competitive the competition is. Seeing as how there are so many different photos you have to compete against, it really pushes you and drives you to work harder and do better photography. You can also learn a lot from looking at other people's photos. You can take things that you like and apply them to your own photos, and you can also avoid doing things that you don't like. The critiques are also really helpful. The next question is, do you think there should be more simple themes or hard themes in this next cycle? I think this next cycle should start out with more simple themes, but they should get more challenging as we advance in the contest. That way the first few weeks we can kind of get the hang of it, and then after that we can start doing more challenging themes. The next question is, do you think JGPC is better for beginners or intermediate photographers? Since this is a pretty big contest, I think it's better for intermediate photographers. Definitely not your first photo contest, but maybe second or third. It can be pretty hard for beginners if you've never done a photo contest before because you have to learn about things like what cycles are, and how you can submit photos. I think it's better for intermediate photographers because if you're a beginner, this contest is pretty long, 
and so you might not be willing to make the commitment yet. And finally, the last question is, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate JAGPC? On a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is best, I would rate JAGPC an 8.5 because it's a really solid photo contest. It helps you learn a ton about photography and explore different themes and different ideas. You can learn really cool tips and tricks to become a better photographer. However, no photo contest is perfect and these things are all subjective, so sometimes you might not agree with your rankings or opinions. Anyway, that's all the questions. Thanks for listening and I hope you join the next cycle because I know I will. Those were completely brutally honest opinions on JGPC. No, I did not tell them anything about saying that. Also, I'd like to mention that even though Sophia from American Girl Boys friend that does not mean that I will be giving her any higher ranking score in the competition because this is all about fairness and as she likes to say, not a win best friend competition because of, you know, that's not what it's going to be. I'm not going to give her a higher ranking unless her photo is actually amazing, which I know she does some amazing photos. And so I will not be actually like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to be biased because she's my friend. Um, no, this is just because of photography and based on photography. This competition should be fair. Now I'm going to get into how to enter. The first way to enter is pretty simple. Go to your community tab and put your photo in and doll's name for the competition. This way is pretty simple, but I prefer email. Email is so much faster, so much easier. I can get your photos in. Also, if you are going to use the community tab, make sure you um, tag me and my channel, jojob 10 And also, if you're going by email, my email is jojob 10 at iCloud.com. It's pretty simple. You just email your photo. Make sure to put the name in there because if I don't have it, then unfortunately I can't put your doll in the competition. And that's it. That's how to enter. And that's basically all the rules. So I really hope you enter JGPC Cycle 5. I am so excited. And yeah. Bye.